represent. Welcome to Freak Street, Freaky Freaks. My mother is a freak. Your mother is a freak. Freaky Ruziki. Freak, freak, and freak again. Plus the all-time horror movie classic. What the heck are you thinking? Turn on a light, stupid. Meanie, great announce. You got zip, sparkle, flare. And the constitution of a contortionist in a sardine can, sir. You know, I think it's time you worked in the theater. I'm giving you a chance for a big promotion. Oh, oh well, well, thank you, sir. <laughs> I've been brushing up on my management training guide. <laughs> I won't let you down. Ruling. Attack of the Zombie Woodworms is about to end in Theater 13. Clean it out before the next show. And watch out for theater hoppers. Oh, if I catch one. <laughs> <laughs> Zombie woodworms. It's just a movie. <gasps> Darn kids leaving all the seats, catty wonkers. <clears throat> Zombie worms! <laughs> ha! <laughs> Freeloader trying to hide in his seat for a second showing of killer zombie woodworms. than you have tried that one, crying boy. I didn't become a manager in training five minutes ago, you know, Buster. No, no, listen, I'll pay to see another movie. Just don't make me go out in the dark. Your money's no good here, woodpecker. You're a theater hopping, movie grubbing lowlife, and when my boss finds I've kicked your sorry tail feathers out, he'll promote me for sure. Huh? <laughs> into Galactic in your hindquarters, Woodpecker! Meanie, what are you doing? Going Woodpecker wrangling, sir. Step aside! <laughs> Just need to find a nice, peaceful place to hide. The happy cults of Rocking Horse Island. This should be perfect to settle my nerves. <laughs> ah, sweet sweetness everywhere. Cole, get off that screen! Oh, best stuff that no good theater offer! Sit tight and out of harm's way, sir! <laughs> I knew hanging out in the theater all night could get me over my fears. 
What happened to you, bub? Beanie! Yep. Know just what you mean. She's been after me all night. Here I am, sir. The little theater hopper got away, but I'll find him! You'll never get a promotion in my theater, Meanie. Not only did you tie me up, you've broken nearly every rule of customer relations. You've... you've... She scared the daylights out of me. Frightening customers! She wouldn't take my money. Refusing service! And, and most of all, you've... She was disruptive when others were trying to watch the movie. <laughs> Disrupting the movie going experience! She did all that? Oh, please, don't report these incidents to the theater chain, Mr. Woodpecker. It could mean my job. Well... If there's anything I can do for you... Anything? And today's feature, Citizen Woodpecker, Jurassic Woodpecker, Woodpecker and the Tramp. You know, Meanie, you got the best movies in town at your theater. I wonder who picked them. <laughs> I'll just use my lifetime free movie pass for a ticket to every flick. <laughs> I'll be watching out for you, Woodpecker. Mark my words. I won't be in this booth forever. <laughs> What do you know? It's finally Father's Day! Mwah! The day of our annual father-son tee-off, Pops! No matter how crazy Dad makes me, this year, I'll be the one taking home the trophy. Boyo! Are you ready for our annual father-son golf tournament? <laughs> You betcha, Pop. Rest assured, laddie. The trophy is going home with me. Just like it does every year. We'll see about that, Pop. And none of your shenanigans, boy of mine. I'm going to beat you fair and square by the 18th hole. You're on, Pops. Anybody thinking of golfing should think again. There will be a major thunderstorm this afternoon. I have a feeling I'm gonna get what I'm really after by the 18th hole. Now, watch how a master tears off. Oh, yeah. Not bad at all, Pops. Now watch this. Whoa! Oh, the love of Mike, laddie. Are you planning to whack the ball or kiss it? You're aiming to knock its lights out, laddie. Get mad! <laughs> Let me help you. Now! No! Oh, yeah. That trophy's all but mine. Sure. If it was a trophy for best divot digger. As quick as messy on dry land. Are you that out of shape, would you? Get out in a boat and feel the wind beneath your kilt, like a real woodpecker would. Dolphins. Yeah. Oh no, you don't. That's my ball, there, boy. -o. Better stop laying about. I'm beating you, laddie. <laughs> I'll bet it's a hole in one. I'm guessing the trophy's mine. A record storm is heading our way. Golfers, be advised. Rain's coming. I'd better speed this along so we can get to the 18th hole in time. Beat that 
chat, Daddy-o. Merciful divots, that was a beauty of a hit, son. <laughs> Trick. All I can say is you'll have to play the ball where it lies, Boyo. You're really in it now, son. You'll never clear these bushes. With that shot, I'm one stroke closer to the trophy. Excuse me, does this ball belong to either of you? It is not my ball. Tis an English ball. And I only use Scottish. Rude uses English balls. <laughs> you know, I wouldn't go out in a storm dress like that. <laughs> What do you know about that? This is no rain. It's just a mist. Play on, lad. But, Pop, the neck peckers are golfers, not swimmers. Ah, there's a wee bit of water that scares you, then. <laughs> come on, swing already. Come on, come on. Moody <laughs> boy. Speak to me! Speak to your old dad! <laughs> I death this to him! I pushed him too hard! I don't deserve to wear this cap! I don't deserve this bonny swell cappy! Son, I only want you to know... Oh, thank the great kilt giver, you're all right! Is there anything I can do for you, Sonny? Well, I might be back to my old self if I had that trophy, Pop. Sure, sure, my Sonny boy. Anything. It's yours for the year. Keep it. Really? Thanks, Pop. I got the trophy. I got the trophy. What? You aren't even struck then, eh? You were just fooling your old puppy the whole time. No! My trophy! <laughs> sure thing, boyo! That'll look great on your mantle for the rest of the year! Picket doors, toilet doors, smatter doors, trooper doors, swing doors, and cusp doors. Stand back, please, and let them out. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the main attraction for this afternoon on this side. Woody Woodpecker, weight five pounds, two pounds over. On this side, Oxnard the Terrible, weight 1,100 pounds, 11 pounds under. It's a lot of bull, or is it?
からな。Inga smorgasbord bit my din din. I'm coming, Inga. Special pizza delivery for Dr. Wallenstein. Mm. Won't you stay and have a morsel with me, Inga? Thanks, but no thanks, Doc. I go for the short, red haired type. About this tall, don't you know? Well, what do you know? A perfect fit. Oh, my! Ah. Hello, I'm a Inca. <laughs> yes, who? Oh, Voody. I'm off 
Happy to love him. See you then. <laughs> I never get the girl. <laughs> they all think I'm just boring. <laughs> eh, quit your blubbering. <laughs> Yep, I guess some of us got it, and some of us don't. Then maybe you could show me how to be more cool, yeah, cool Woody Packer? Sure, if you'll put me up. I'm not going anywhere till 11. <laughs> you rang. Show Woody to the guest room. But be careful with his head. Follow me. Buddy. <laughs> I'm not her type, eh? We see about that. When Inga comes back, she gets the woodpecker's body, ya? Yeah? But with me inside. <laughs> Your body will make me irresistible. <laughs> I am a cool woodpecker, yes, I am. <laughs> Now I get that Inga girl for sure. Hey, Meatball! You talking to me, Woodpecker? You're a disgrace! Look at you, pompadour falling, feathers ruffled, waddling like a chicken. <laughs> Inga will never go for you. Now let me out of here so I can help you. <gasps> no way, Woodpecker. Ha! Forget it. Now we'll see who gets the girl. You bet! <laughs> <laughs> oh, how about doing that cute little laugh of yours? <clears throat> never mind, never mind, stop! Pick me something out of wood, Dan, okay? Yeah. Uh, peck? Oh, yeah, uh, I am woodpecker. Watch this. Don't go away. I'll be right back. Hey, ho, what do you know? I'm from the Bad Date Intervention Bureau. I've seen some bad dates before, bub, but yours is off the chart. Yeah, it's not going so good. What I do? You need a hat. Now go get her, partner. Yeehaw! I'm a cowpoke, y'all. Look at me, Inga. Oh, I love cowboy hats! <laughs> 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 ah, I'm a girl! <laughs> Since when did I have tusks? <laughs> ah, Pooey, I never did look good in chartreuse. But I'll bet this will confuse the doc just long enough so that I can change into something more comfortable. Namely, me. By Imini, Inga likes me the way I was. Better than this dumb bird suit. You bet. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> That's my girl! 
so many space missions one uncle can take. This is not gonna go on all summer, I can tell you that. Maybe you could send us to the Zack Zobar Summer Space Camp, Uncle Woody. Do you have any idea what summer camp costs these days? <laughs> 300 bucks a week? Can we go, Uncle Woody? Please, please, please. Can we, can we? Well, what do you know? I have exactly $45. Only enough to send your beaks to that camp. Perfect. 45 bucks is all I need. <laughs> then I'll have enough to go to Bora Bora. Well, hello there, sucker. I mean, sir. Looking to send the little ones off to camp this summer? You bet. Well, at Camp Buzzard, we train youngsters to be fine, upstanding Buzzard Scouts. Uh, space Cadets. I've never heard of Camp Buzzard. What do kids do at this camp anyway? Is it expensive? There's overhead, room and board, luxury tax, equestrian fee, and you always have to consider the yen. About 50 bucks. But we're having a deal this week only. Two for 45. 45 bucks? Sold! Counselor Buzz, they're all yours. Welcome to Camp Buzzard, kids. Gee, it doesn't look like much. This is an exact replica of Planet Junko-Rama. Really? Cool. Do we get camp nicknames like they do at Zack Zobar's camp? Eh, uh, nicknames? Uh, sure. You'll be 102373, and you can be 102374. That was my old nickname at camp. What kind of camps have you been to? I went to, uh, Camp Folsom. I mean, Camp Alcatraz. Uh, I mean, Camp Pokey. Yeah, Camp Hokey Pokey. Now go play. <laughs> Bora Bora, here I come. We're Bora Bored! We came here to be space cadets. Huh? Uh-oh, sure. In order to be space cadets, you gotta earn a bunch of merit badges. Here, this is for your weightless training merit badge. What are those? Anti-gravity boots? Yeah, they belong to my favorite auntie, gravity. Wait! What about seat belts? What about navigational equipment? How will we know where to go? Follow the sun. You'll be close enough. But how will we steer? That's so easy, even a woodpecker can do it. All you gotta do is pull the release pin. <laughs> We're hungry now, Counselor Buzz. Yeah, well, you know, a good Buzzard Scout space cadet learns how to survive on any planet. You gotta hunt for food. Oh boy, we'll catch a bear for dinner. Sure, a good Buzzard Scout space cadet spends hours making a trap for the, uh, I spent hours making a trap merit badge. We could cover a hole with palm leaves. Or roll a 10-ton boulder down a hill. Or string up a 50-mile net. I think they have now officially earned their sucker merit badge. <laughs> Oh, drop a boulder, yeah! Perchance, an incoming net? <laughs> when you're good, you're me. 
No, it couldn't be. <laughs> what are you little buzzard scouts doing now? At camp, we're supposed to have rides, like canoeing or horseback riding. Or how about a rocket to the moon? Go get your space helmets and get ready for the last merit badge you'll ever need here on Earth. Take off in T minus ten. Nine. Zero. That's one small step for woodpeckers and one giant leap towards my vacation. <laughs> Freeze, alien! We claim this planet in the name of Camp Buzzard. <laughs> Please, buddy, take him home. I'll give you all your money back. Oh, please, oh, please, oh, please, oh, please. No please. dice. We had a deal. Forty-five bucks and you'd take care of him for the whole summer. Please, I'll give you triple. <sighs> take everything I got. Just take him back. Please. <laughs> Why so glum, campers? Don't you want to go to the Zack Zobar Summer Space Camp? Yay, yeah, the Woody! Yay! Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, I went down south for to see my pal, sing Polly Wally Doodle all the day. My Sally and my spunky gal sing Polly Wally Doodle all the day. Daddy Ram, Daddy Ram, Daddy Ram, my daddy say. I'm going to leave Vienna for to see my sister Vienna sing Polly Wally Doodle all the day. smell your breath. Thank <laughs> you. 
Say, Grandfather, would you put some water in my automobile? What's that? Littering my yard, are you? No, uh, we were playing a game. And, and there was a big gust of wind. Uh, the book flew out the window. And we had to come get it back. You like games, do ya? Well, I happen to know lots of games. Ah! 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 Quit your caterwauling. 
We're gonna play Guess What's for Dinner! See if you can figure out what the main ingredient is! <laughs> I've been wanting to have you two for dinner for a long time! So, did you guess what the main ingredient is, huh? Did you? She's gonna eat us! No, she's gonna cook us, then eat us! Don't you even think about leaving. It's all stormy outside. Uh, well, uh, we were, uh, uh, uh just gonna uh, wash up for dinner. Good idea. I like a nice, clean dinner. Bathroom Saturday! <laughs> Hmm. Jumpy little tykes. We gotta get out of here! <laughs> Not yet. If we don't stop her now, she'll just get us later! Uh, uh, grab the hose out there! Mention barbecues. Apple keeper occupied. Oh! There you are. Where's your brother? It's not dinner without him. Uh, 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 he's um um just washing up. Good. Cleanliness is next to tastiness. I always say. <laughs> Playing my game first. <laughs> oh, one pecker! Oh, she's got awesome powers, man. This could be our last chance. And we got surprise on our side. I'm dying for dinner. Hey, what the? What? <laughs> so fun. <laughs> now, where did you little monkeys go? Uh, oh, we gotta kill Uncle Woody. Uh. Uh. One last guess what's for dinner? Runner, we're cooked! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going? Get back here! <laughs> oh, stupid game. me six hours to put this thing together and it's just too darn scary for them to play. Now who am I gonna get to help eat my vegetable stew? <laughs> we almost didn't make it. We gotta tell someone. Wally! You're the last ingredient I need for my woodpecker stew. Uh, he's got Uncle Woody. We gotta stop him. <laughs> You dropped them, mister! We've had all the weirdness we're gonna take around here! Hey, kids, what's up? Uncle Woody? But we thought Wally was making woodpecker stew! One bowl of stew for the woodpecker. So, do you think it's good enough to win the neighborhood stew cook-off tomorrow, woodpecker? Yours is definitely up there, Wally. Come on, kids, let's go taste Meanie stew. Oh, no! Oh, we're not going over there, Uncle Woody. Have it your way. That just means more stew for me. You know what I think, Splinter? That if we keep being such scaredy cats, we'll miss out on one of oh. Uncle Woody's best ideas yet. Let's see. I've pecked there, and there, and wow, 
Okay, Scouts, that ends our tour of the petrified forest with trees that are 10 million years old and as hard as rocks. <laughs> now, let's go see some amazing redwoods. Petrified forest that way. Hmm, I'd better go the other way. Unpack trees, and they're all for me. Woo! -hoo! <laughs> oh, why, I feel rather strange. What am I doing in this wretched place? I'd better head back to civilization. <laughs> oh my, it's so lovely. I can't wait for all the little birdies to... <laughs> Hold it right there, woodpecker. This bird bath is not for you, so forget it. Why, I wouldn't dream of being so bold. I was merely admiring the craftsmanship. Flattery will get you nowhere. I am not cleaning up that mess of yours. I'm so sorry, dear neighbor. I had no idea I was so inconsiderate. I'll take care of that mess. I... I can't believe it. You've seen the error of your ways. Maybe now we can live in harmony. Of course we can. Woody and Wally. Friends, neighbors, and brothers. <sighs> I can't believe it took us so long to see how alike we really are. Astonishing, isn't it? That's game. What? But I have never lost a game of Swedish checkers. I am the reigning champion. It was just luck, old chum. I'm sure you'll win the next game. Well, how about a more challenging game? Raised pole climbing is my favorite game. Last one to the top is a third. <laughs> Almost had me. I don't get it. I always win at Swedish games. Tut tut, old boy. You're always a winner in my eyes. Oh, by the way, Wallace, you must clean and prepare for the festivities this evening. <laughs> Are you almost ready, old chum of mine? I'm so thankful for your kind invitation to the Swedish smorgasbord. They stand a good chance of winning Speed of the Year Award. I've dreamt of this moment my whole life. And now for the moment we have all waited for. The Speed of the Year Award. We have chosen a man of class, distinction, and character. Yeah, and the winner is Woody Woodpecker. <laughs> no, this is mistake. He is not even Swedish. It is mine. This award goes to Woody Woodpecker. He is an imposter! I am the Woody Woodpecker! No! No! I am Speed of the Year! I am Speed of the Year! Uh, hello? Doctor? Yeah, please help me. I can't stand him anymore. Yeah, well, what seems to be the problem? 
It's that woodpecker. He's all nice and civilized. He is ruining my life. What are the symptoms? Well, well, he, he's courteous. He cleans up after himself, and he wins at everything I do. Sounds to me like his head's all jumbled up. What you need to do is rejumble his head. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Doctor. I think I have a plan. Oh, Woody, wake up. I have a treat for you. My dear Wally, you shouldn't have. Well, civilized or not, I'm still a woodpecker. Hey, what are you looking at? Oh, nothing. Say, Woody, would you mind raking my yard? It seems your tree has dropped leaves all over it. What? Forget it, bub. <laughs> Something should never change. Look how big everything is. Look out! Here comes a giant bird of some kind. Hiya! Here comes a big dragon. coming at us. It's a giant lady. We'll have to hide. Well, I declare, a little baby. I'm gonna take you home and give you a nice warm bath. Hey, I'm not a baby. I'm a man. I can't hear ya. I'm a little deaf. Now, here's some nice warm water. We pour it in this cup. Oh, this is perfect. Don't you like it? <laughs> I always did want a little baby just like you. I know you and I are going to be so happy. Well, aren't you a cute little thing? Now then, how's that? <laughs> now I'll tuck you in your little bed and you go to sleep. Go to sleep. To sleep. Hey, Tom! Where are you? Hiya, baby. Don't rub it in. We'll search for food. You go that way, and, and I'll go this way. Thank <laughs> you. 
That to me. to me.